Hi, welcome to iBlog Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to make a button. Um, open up a new Adobe Flash CS3 or Flash 8 file and um, save it, whatever you want to save it. I saved it as button 2. And then just rename your first layer to button. You can make the stage any size you want. I have it at 300, 250. And then we have um, a darker background color so you can see what we're doing. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to select the rectangle tool and then make sure our stroke is set at 5 and our fill color is red. You can change these colors and you don't even need stroke if you don't want it. Um, also, I'm going to insert a keyframe on the first frame. That way I can actually draw on the stage. If you haven't already, usually when you start a new flash, you'll already have a keyframe there. Okay. So now we have our object on the stage. We're going to convert it to a symbol. And this lets us change it to a button. So we're going to right click, come down here to convert to symbol. Or what I could do is just click this and hit F8 on your keyboard. OK, now there's this little box up here that says convert to symbol. and depending on your version of flash it will either say type or behavior and you're going to select button and you're going to rename it button you can really name this anything you want name it something you'll remember okay so now we have a button symbol on our stage we're gonna double click to open it up or we can double click over here in the library either way is fine and now you'll see that we have different um, labels for our different frames give an up um, keyframe and then there's an over an over frame down frame hit frame up is just what you see when your mouse isn't on it over is when your mouse is over it down is when you click it and hit is the clickable area so I'm gonna rename this layer to background because I'm going to change the background color <clears throat> go to the over um, frame and insert a new keyframe and now what you can do is change what this looks like so I'm just gonna click it and change the text and um, repeat it for the down state I'm gonna change this again to now it's gonna be green so now you'll see we ha this is what you'll see when it's up over down now you can also add some text So on the up frame, I'm going to add some text that says um, up. And then I'm going to do the same thing for over. I'm just going to say over. And then for down. So now, what, now that you've changed all this, you can go back to your main scene, the main timeline of scene one. And I'm just going to save this now. We're going to test this movie and show you what it does at this point in time. So go to window. No, control. Go to control. Test movie. Con and you can also hit control enter. I'm going to hit control enter. Now you'll see when I roll over a button, it changes states and we if we click it it'll actually show our um, down state so right now you're thinking okay we have a button great what's it do for me it does nothing so we're gonna have to make it do something for us I'm gonna show you how to add an alpha tween to a symbol you can do this with any symbol insert keyframe and we're we're gonna select our um, button and we're gonna go down to color in the properties panel you don't have properties you can go to window and then it's right here and then right here okay so I'm gonna select this and go to color alpha and make sure it's set at zero now we are going to right click in between these two keyframes and you'll see an option to create motion tween 
do that. Okay. Now you'll see that when we um, run through our little file here, it actually tweens and fades out that object. We can also move the object. Like the name says, it's called a motion tween. So I'm just going to move it down a little bit. And now you'll see it actually moves down. But if we test our movie, it keeps doing it. We want it to stop, so we're going to click the first keyframe on the main timeline. And we're going to go to Window, Actions, or you can hit F9. And we're just going to type in some simple action script to tell this thing to stop. And literally, it should stop, parentheses, semicolon. And you can pause the video if you need to copy that. Okay, so now if we test our movie, it doesn't play through that. But I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell it I'm gonna make it run through our movie when I tell it to. So we're gonna click on the first keyframe, make sure you're on the first keyframe, and just click your button and then go to window actions or click F9. And now we're gonna add something called an on release function. On release bracket, close the bracket. And now we can put in our action script. This test, this will activate this action script when we release the button. Okay, so we're gonna put play. So our movie is going to play when we click when we release our mouse button. But we're also gonna add an extra snippet of code because people want to know how to link to other websites or link to other um, files within their own website. So we're going to put in a get URL. Um, the, um, piece of code and we're just going to put um, the little quote and then you're going to put whatever web address you want to put I'm going to put google.com close, close off the um, quote and close off the parentheses and now we're good to go on release it'll play and go to google.com I'm just going to save this and then test our movie. Control Enter. And now you'll see when I roll over it, it displays our over text. Click it, it says down, and then let go. Plays our little shape tween, and it goes to google.com. Now you know how to make a simple button in Flash. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more informative tutorials, visit iBlogTutorials.blogspot.com or visit my channel on YouTube. Thank you.